Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my today's topic is reconstructive post-mortem dental profiling. Uh, forensic science hosts various branches of science and social science, which is used either alone or in mass multidiscipline to find the answer for a given question under the boundary of law. Forensic odontology is such a branch of forensic science as well as dentistry. It plays an important role in uh, identification of unknown remains. The forensic dental identification is of uh, two types. Uh, uh, when the comparative dental identification is the first step, which is uh, which can be done when the anti-mortem uh, dental records are available. The process of uh, examining the oral cavity for the purpose of recovering information by analyzing the parameters like age, sex, and ethnicity to restrict the hunt for the anti-mortem dental records as is called post-mortem dental profiling. The reconstructive postmortem dental profiling is a process of regenerating exclusive facial morphological characteristics and anatomical landmarks of human face by evaluating the oral and paraoral parameters. Uh, simply, it is a combination of facial reconstruction and the postmortem uh, dental uh, profiling. And the purpose of uh, postmortem dental profiling is uh, used to identify the unknown in the absence of anti-mortem dental records. The purpose of reconstructive postmortem dental profiling is now done when, uh, when we get unknown skeletal remains and the inconclusive DNA analysis. It can be executed by visual examination, radiographs, and uh, computer software like Denta, Denta scan software. The techniques may be manual, uh, may be invasive or non invasive. Uh, in the invasive manual, sometimes uh, uh, it also includes sophisticated techniques. And non invasive includes radiographs, it is kind of a dentopsy by Dr. Uh, Professor Emilio. Uh, it is in the triad for a uh, postmortem dental profiling. Yes, Dr. Pilling, I think your slides are not moving. Not? Not moving. Can you put it on slideshow mode? It's now moving, ma'am. No, it's not. Can you put it on slideshow mode? Slideshow. Where? Uh, where lower I left corner. Lower left. Dr. Corner. Praveen, lower left corner and from the beginning your slides are not moving. We couldn't see any of the introduction part that you have mentioned. Dr. Praveen, on your, uh, okay, on your upper tab, you can see slideshow. Is it visible? Yes, yeah, slides are visible, but uh, it's not moving and uh, it's not on slideshow. No. Not. Can you reshare? Can you stop the screen share and uh, start your screen sharing again? Yeah, I started a new sharing. It's again. Uh... How oh, is it visible? Yeah, it's visible now. Uh, can you, yeah, the slideshow is there, but it's not coming to us. Yeah, it's okay, okay. It's okay now. Okay, click on that button again, icon again. Oh, it has disappeared. I can uh, only pass share is there and the new share is there. Now again, Dr. I Augustine, have... Dr. Augustine, yes. if it is okay with you, can we just move with this? At least we can see in this mode itself. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Praveen, uh, no. please start from slide two. Is it okay, Dr. Augustine? Because I couldn't see those slides. Yeah, we, he can run through whatever he's done. Whatever you spoke, we couldn't see your slides. So please start from two. Okay, ma'am. Can I start? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, please, please start. The forensic odontology is a branch of forensic science and dentistry, which plays an important role in identification of unknown human remains. The forensic dental identification is of two types. One is comparative dental identification, which, uh, which can be done uh, with the help of anti-mortem uh, dental records are available. Uh, and uh, the process of uh, examining the oral cavity for the purpose of recovery information by analyzing the parameters like age, sex, and ethnicity to restrict the chase for anti-mortem dental records is called post-mortem dental profiling. 
the reconstructive postmodern dental profiling is a process of regenerating exclusive facial morphological characteristics and anatomical landmarks of human beast by evaluating oral and paraoral structures. Simply, it is a combination of facial reconstruction and postmortem dental profiling. This slide is visible, ma'am. Next slide. It's not. The third visible. slide is visible. Yeah, visible? third slide is visible. Okay. Uh, the purpose of uh, postmortem dental profiling is identification of unknown in the absence of uh, anti-mortem dental records. The purpose of reconstructive postmortem dental profiling is uh, done when, uh, when we receive an unknown skeletal remains or DNA analysis is inconclusive. It is executed by visual examination, radiographs, and uh, computer softwares like uh, dental scan software. The techniques, it may be invasive or non-invasive. Uh, invasive may manual and uh, non-invasive includes radiograph, CT scan, every dentopsy by Dr. Emilio. It is a triad of uh, ethnicity, age, and uh, sex. The traditional classification include Caucasoid, Mangaloid, and Nigroid. The Turner classified them as Western Eurasian, African, Santa Pacific, Sagul Pacific, Sino Americans. The ethnicity from teeth is of two types: non-metric dental traits and uh, uh, metric dental traits. The non-metric dental traits is mainly based on the morphological characteristics, characteristics of teeth. It's on the basis of uh, dental anthropological uh, studies. These studies are carried by uh, Alice Haradika, Dalberg, Nihara, sir. Your slides are not moving. They're not changing. Not changing. Uh, can you reshare so that uh, I or should we go with this only? Yes, now it's seen. Please continue. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, done by uh, Scott and Turner. The, the shoveling, carefully trade linking, three cusp maxillary molar, cusp five, six, and seven, four cusp mandibular molars, ten in mandibular uh, group pattern are some of the examples of uh, non-metric uh, dental traits. The metric dental traits is again uh, divided into absolute teeth size and relative teeth size. The absolute teeth size is based on the uh, uh, work by pillow with uh, his formula dental index. So it's equal to dental length by base, uh, base of nasal length into 100. Uh, with this calculation, he got as microdons, microdons with a dental index less than 42, uh, the European group, uh, white group, fall in this group, in this category. The mesodents with the dental index 42 to 44, uh, Asians fall in this category. The megodons, the dental index greater than 42, the Australian Aborigines and American Blacks come in this category. The relative size of the uh, teeth uh, is based on the research work by some uh, certain uh, particular authors. According to them, Australians have larger second molar, whites have later, uh, smaller lateral incisor than uh, central incisor, Asians have uh, generally have large anterior anterior teeth. Next one is sex. The, uh, the sex can be, uh, regarding sex, can be obtained from craniofacial features and the tooth size, the mesobuccal and the uh, uh, lingual measurement as well as mandibular canine index. The tooth morphology like deflecting wrinkle in mandibular first molar and the uh, distal accessory reach in canine also helps uh, to identify the sex which is usually seen in males. The mandible, the canine gonian angle for the male is 80 to 90 degree with ramus flexor. For female, it is 110 to 120 degree with straight ramus with an angulation near the condylar neck and a conventional DNA analysis as well as uh, the amyl genes. The males have two uh, dissimilar amyl genes and female have two similar amyl genes. Uh, sometimes ruposcopy also helps in sex uh, determination. Males have converging and uh, curved rupia and female have diverging and wavy rupia. And bar bodies uh, can be uh, also help to know about the sex determination. Which has, can be recovered from the cadavers up to four weeks in the pulp, as well as heat heater up to 400 degrees centigrade. Uh, the, for boys and girls, the, the tooth calcification is uh, identical for both boys and girls. Uh, whereas osseous uh, development is uh, 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 completes quickly in girls and compared to boys. Therefore, if both ages are concurrent, they may be boys. If uh, osseous age is ahead of dental age, uh, it means they are it's a girl. Now, uh, regarding age, uh, it has been divided into three phases prenatal, natal, neonatal, and early postnatal, children and adolescents, and adults. The, in the first phase, dry weight of deciduous incisor, lateral incisor, first molar, uh, 
with the 60 milligram, it may be of six months in intra uterine. If it is 0.5 gram, it is a newborn. To 1.8 gram, it's up, uh, after six months. The uh, the warrant metrics uh, from central incisor of uterus and infant by SEMA and CT analysis of two jumps by live cell are some of the uh, techniques that are carried out during in this phase. In for uh, children and adolescents, the scoring technique and atlas technique are mainly used. In the scoring technique, the various stages of the uh, teeth seen in the X-ray are compared with the standard value of a particular technique, and, uh, and the age estimation is carried out. For example, Damagians and Camry are some of the examples of this method. The Atlas technique, the images of the Atlas, uh, images of sorry, the images of the teeth in the X-ray are compared with the various stages of Atlas uh, for for determining the age. Star and Nashler, Abulaker, and London Atlas uh, are some of the example uh, in this stage. The adult uh, mainly carried out uh, by the progressive changes of the uh, teeth. Uh, attrition, periodontal ligament attachment, secondary dentin formation, root resorption, dentin radiolucency, and cementum abortion are some of the parameters which are used for determining the age uh, in the adult age group. Uh, uh, techniques by Gustafson, Jackson, uh, dentinal translucency method, pulp to tooth area ratio, Lee and G average age of attrition are some of the methods uh, used in this age group. Uh, but the uh, highly recommended method is aspartic acid resuscitation because the uh, error rate is very less. The other criteria for dental profiling uh, is a detection of uh, oral habits. Uh, the smokers have, uh, have are having a habit of smoking have lower stains in their uh, lingual surface of the teeth. Improper pressing leads to the attrition and abrasion and uh, cross bite, uh, open bite and protrusion uh, may result due to thumb sucking and uh, tongue pressing. The assessment of uh, oral and systemic health also helps in the control profiling. Uh, the, uh, oral cavity is a mirror of the mirror of the general health, and it uh, shows uh, some uh, systemic manifestation in the soft tissue as well as in the hard tissue of the oral of, uh, of the body. But since the soft tissue is uh, not available during this condition, the teeth and the uh, and the bones uh, show some great, uh, importance in this case. Mm, the amelogenesis imperfecta, dentogenesis imperfecta, malnutrition, osteoporosis of uh, TMJ. And anorexia patients who have a uh, habit of uh, vomiting shows erosion of the lingual surface of the teeth. The people with the neck and uh, head and neck radiation usually have less salivary glands and more carried teeth. Uh, the, active, uh, the activities by certain uh, professional also helps in the uh, dental profiling. The glass blowers, shoemakers, musicians playing wind instruments usually have the contour of their tool in the upper anterior and uh, between the anterior teeth. The car, even carpenters and alteration also do have the same thing. The professional swimmers and the people who are working in the uh, chemical industries also have uh, erosion in their teeth. Uh, even dental profiling also helps in uh, reconstruction of the habit, uh, uh, dietary habit. Uh, the, the, the person have uh, more uh, carbohydrate diet and are prone to have more dental caries. And the person who have a frequent diet and malness, almonds are prone to have attrition. Even erosion of teeth can be seen in person who frequently take acid and carbonated beverages. The determination of familial relationship can also be done using modern tomometric analysis. But this is carried out when other other criteria are not possible. Now, even assessment of uh, uh, psychological characteristics also help in the dental profiling. Um, even people with uh, poor oral health may be in depression. Uh, child, elderly and child people may, may also undergo dental neglect. Even stress may result in bruxism. Even evaluation of socioeconomic status can also be done in the dental profiling. Uh, people with high status have uh, uh, high materials in their uh, dental treatment undertaken, like uh, orthodontic treatment, like uh, teeth colored uh, restoration, implants. Uh, people with uh, low status uh, they maintain their poor teeth very poorly with more number of caries and more number of teeth extracted and dental materials by uh, cheap materials. Having done this, even if you are not able to identify the uh, identification is not established in case of a skeletal uh, remains. And you know, a skeletal analysis team is a uh, form consisting of uh, forensic anthropologists, forensic odontologists, and reconstructive practitioners. Uh, these people with the uh, following uh, methods, they give the lifetime appearance of the human face. The facial reconstruction can be carried out by following methods, superimposition method, two-dimensional, this manual and computerized, this cats and faces, 
are other two types. The three-dimensional method, which includes anthropomorphical American method, anatomical Russian method, combination of Manchester and British method, and 3D computerized method, 3D animation method, visual sculpture method, system, and uh, phantom desktop. I like to conclude that reconstructive postmodern model profiling with a unique control profile plays a very important role in identification of uh, person, especially uh, in the uh, field of forensic orientology and uh, document the profile in the absence of uh, anti-modern records. Uh, these are my references. Thank you, sir.